All right, see if you can guess what's going on in this map. You have less than 30 seconds to try to identify the patterns happening in this data visualization made by the digital historian Ben Schmidt. You might notice that as the years click by, these little red dots that represent ships keep going farther and farther away from the United States. Any guesses what's going on? Only a few seconds left. The ships keep going farther and farther north through the Pacific and the Atlantic. And if you guessed that this is a map of the American whaling industry, then you would be correct. By the way, my name is Dr. Tim, and if you like unexpected history, then go ahead and give me a follow. For the two decades starting after the year 1835, four out of five of the world's whaling ships were based in New Bedford, Massachusetts and flew under an American flag. Backed by East Coast investors, these all-male whaling crews went on multi-year ships starting on the East Coast of the U.S., around Cape Horn and up into the Pacific, all in pursuit of whales. These ships were a combination of hunting expeditions and factories that killed, slaughtered, rendered whales and made them into oil that could be brought back to the United States. Prior to the era of electrification and the introduction of light bulbs, first and foremost, whale oil was a source of light and whale oil lamps. Light and strong baleen, or whale bone, was used much the way that we use plastic now. And it had a number of uses. The structure of corsets, crinoline petticoats, parasols, back scratchers, and buggy whips. Thankfully for the whales, the American whaling industry fell off with the introduction of electric light derived from fossil fuel resources, which has solved all of our problems.